Thank you very much for your interest in Wati. So in this video, I'm going to go through the dashboard of Wati, um, the basic setup of Wati, and also the operator management. So first of all, once you log into Wati, you will see the dashboard. And you will see on the toolbar, you have different function here for the WhatsApp team inbox. And on the right-hand side, you will see the number that you register for Wati. So in your case, it will be your company number that all your client will see this number in order to contact with you. And on the right-hand side, you will also see the account that you're locking in. So this time, um, I'm locking in as Crystal Thai. And I am one of the agents that support this number. And first of all, here in the dashboard page, it is basically for you to see all the statistics that are going through with this number. So first of all, what you can do here is to track the, num uh, the period that you desire to. And here you will be able to see the ticket status. So for all the new incoming message to this number, it will be an open or a new ticket. And then later on, you can, in the team inbox, mark the status as pending, softed, or soft by board or agent. And also, if it is like a um, customer support message, it will expire after 24 hours. So it will directly go to expired here. And when you go down a bit, you will see different statistics. For example, it's the total message within the period that you are tracking. And you can also see um, uh, specifically if it's like for a uh, support message or template message as well. And on the right here, you will see the message volume day by day in from different channel, different type of message. And when you scroll down a bit more, you will see more different statistics. For example, the rate of the broadcast performance, also the operator performance with their response time, resolution time, and also the number of chat that they are taking. Also, um, here lastly, you will see the send and receive the message every day and also the chat duration. And all this statistic can be downloaded for your further reporting as well. So if it's clear here, I'll go a bit more to the setting. In the setting page, uh, which is really straightforward, it is like setting up your profile in WhatsApp as well. So you can set up your own profile picture, um, put down your um, description here, your address, and also um, like, you know, uh, the address and uh, website here. And in general, you'll be able to set a picture for the Wati dashboard as well, and also schedule the time zone and choose a language for your platform. So here, sorry, that's this. You can see, um, you can change the platform to Chinese and Spanish as well, other than English. And of course, we have a great tool, which is on Google Chrome, that you can easily back up your chat and you can import it directly here. So uh, if you're migrating an existing number to WhatsApp, you can use this function to import your chat history here for the individual chats. And of course, we have uh, other settings like the feature and integration, et cetera. So this will be some um, add-on function that we can enable for you if you register for um, the add-on as well. So other than that, I would like to cover the operator management. So here is where you can directly add an operator. For example, if you would like to add another agent in your platform, you can uh, put the first name, last name, email here, and also select their role. So they can see different function and have different um, admin level here, depending on their function um, in your company. So I think I have covered uh, most of the um, basic setup and also the dashboard in this video. In the next videos, I will cover another function of each tab step by step.